Alright. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikar HaKadash, and double honors to the elders of Apostle GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, pushing this word and truth to sincerity and strength by Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Right? We are here to prophesy the downfall of, of America and uh, gather the elect, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, the elect of Israel, which consists of the Negro, Latino, and Native American. Those are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So we're just going to hop right into it. Give me 2nd uh, uh, Ezra 15 and uh, 14. Come. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe meaning destruction. Okay, go ahead. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. That's why you got all... Well, you got you got a uh, uh, World War Three popping off, okay? But what I want to what I want to focus in on is all these mass shootings. You got Esau, you got Esau uh, doing all these shootings, and what Esau want to do is take away the guns. That's what Esau want to do. He want to take away the guns to where uh, it'd be easy for him to take so-called U.S. citizens uh, in martial law. It'd be easy for them to take them. But see, this is the thing. According to prophecy, Esau's not going to be able to take the guns from the American people. Okay? According to prophecy. And all these mass shootings, they passing laws to uh, uh, ban, ban these guns, these assault rifles, uh, so to speak. These assault rifles, so to speak. speak and 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 it's nationalness that's uh, doing it. Nationalness is basically uh, uh, people that think their think their race is more superior and think they deserve more than what they, you know, what I'm saying. It's just it just it just nationalness. It's just, just a person who think their race is more superior. And you got these Edomites out there using using their blessing to push forth their agenda, but. But uh, all these mass shootings, what it's going to cause is it's going to cause martial law, okay? And like I was saying, Esau's not going to be able to take the, uh, 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 the guns off the street because this got to be fulfilled according to prophecy. Go ahead, bro. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. So what are, what are they going to use to fight against each other? Them guns. So according to prophecy, them guns is still gonna be on the streets. Esau not gonna be able to take the guns, man. Because what it is is Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite. What it is is he have trained the American citizens to trust in guns, to trust in to trust in his blessing. So they not gonna give up them guns like that. They can pass all the laws they want. But this prophecy is still going to be fulfilled. And on top of that, what Esau is trying to do is merge us in there to where we can't teach the Bible no more. That's what Esau is doing. So he's saying that the nationalists, which are these red Hebrew Edomites, he's saying they're getting their, their ideology from, the, uh, from social media. So therefore, he needs to uh, ban the speech or stop that ideology from being pushed out there. But what's on the web is the truth, the King James Bible, and it's being taught the right way. So what Esau is basically targeting behind the scenes is the truth, okay? That's what he's doing because he wants to cut Israel off from waking up. But the word is already out, man. There's no stopping Go ahead, bro. And swords in their hands. See, and swords in their hands. And the modern in the modern day sword is what? His armory. Military might. Okay? Guns, weaponry. So the sword is symbolic for that. It ain't talking about no, no sword to where men used to fight in the ancient days. We speeding up into the modern time, up to date. The sword is talking about the guns, man. Okay? That's what it's talking about. So he said they should fight with swords in their hand. He's talking about with guns. So 
according to prophecy, the guns are still going to be here because that prophecy has to be fulfilled. They're going to fight amongst each other. All these nations on this earth, these 18 nations on this earth is going to be against each other, man. It's going to be total fucking chaos, man. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be total chaos, man. Even your neighbor next to you is going to be an issue when he ain't got no food, when he ain't got no money, and his, and his kids are crying to uh, uh, fill up bellies with food. They're going to become an issue, especially if they got guns. So how do people, when, when people ain't got certain things and they ain't got nothing to lose, who do they take it out on? The people that they know. They're supposed to them first. So within these neighborhoods and in these communities, man, you're going to have total fucking chaos, man. That's what you're going to have, man. And people are going to be fighting amongst each other, man. It's going to be total confusion on earth, man. That's why it's known as Babylon the Great, man. Because uh, the word uh, Babylon go back to a Hebrew word, Babao, which means confusion. So it's going to be nothing but confusion on the earth, man. So read that again, bro. Okay, this is uh, second entrance, chapter 15, verse 15. I started 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Go ahead. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, man. It's 18 nations on this earth, man. You're going to have everybody fight against each other, man. That's what it's going to be. Okay? And all these mass shootings that's going on in the world, they're going to declare, they're going to venture to declare a martial law, man. That's what's going to happen, man. Because Esau got to push forth his new world order, and he got to push forth, according to prophecy, the RFID chip, the microchip, the mark of the beast, he got to get that implemented according to prophecy, man. So that's what it's all about. Getting everybody chipped. And you taking these small events, small events to lead up to what? Shutting down the city and declaring martial law and being able to chip everybody. So that's what it's leading up to, man. The hour of temptation, man. And we telling you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, what's coming to pass according to the Bible because we can see it. The Bible tells you about the future and we're telling you the future, man. This is what's going to take place in America, man. Okay? All your hopes and dreams to build a family and be successful in America is, is, so, is slowly diminishing, man. And everybody is stressed out and tired, man. So America is hanging on the Hanging on a, uh, hanging by a thread, man. You still, you got to remember, look at all the floods that happened months ago. That flooded out them people in their homes. Where are them people located now? They ain't in their home. They've been scattered. Remember them fires that happened in California? Paradise. Where them people at? They ain't, they ain't back in paradise. They, they scattered, man. So people are stressed out because of the conditions, man, and they hanging on the edge, man. And then you got these, these uh, so-called nationalists, these Edomites, doing all this shooting because they losing the job. And we had one, you remember that, uh, that Edomite that came up and he was talking about, uh, uh, yeah, we, we had y'all in slavery, but that wasn't on camera. And I was going into the forest and telling, oh, telling yeah. them how, how we had them in slavery. Yeah. And I and, and it was some women walking by. And there was some women walking by. I said, because we were about to close camp. So I said, hey, bro, why don't you go over there and, and deal with your women? He said, man, you know we got problems with our women. <laughs> and I was like, what? He was like, man, you know we got problems with our women. And them women, what they did was, which they walked by us first, but they seen him over here. And what they did was they crossed the street. You remember that? They crossed the street. So Esau is lashing out. Esau is lashing out because America is falling and the women, his, his nation's women, are not dealing with them like they used to, man. They, they are leaving these Edomite men. Dang, that was the spirit. You just had a you just had an Edomite woman in the car with a Jake, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah, they're dealing more now with Jake. 
Or if they ain't dealing with Jake, they dealing with the other nation and leaving Esau out there because they know Esau, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, they know he's a pedophile, man. And they really know he's weak. And see, the, the reason why the, the so-called white woman ain't fully left Esau, just left him completely alone, is because Esau is still in power and he got money. See, that's what them heathen women look at, man. They look at the financial uh, uh, situation to, to, to see if, because them Edomite women are materialistic, but they look at the financial situation and they like, I don't know if he can take care of me. But if they knew these other nations can fully take care of these Edomite women, if these Edomite women knew that, man, they'd be there to leave Esau alone, man. They'll be completely gone. So Esau is lashing out and he's shooting, man. Okay? And just like I was telling this brother, I sent this brother a couple of videos uh, dealing with Ronald Reagan and dealing with Donald Trump. That, see, when Ronald Reagan was uh, uh, running for presidency, what Ronald Reagan was, he was uh, pushing out to uh, stop the crime. To stop the crime. And what he was, what he was, what he was pushing was, he was basically saying stop the crime and put all the blacks and put all the blacks in jail. Okay. But see, and he was talking about making America great again. Now Donald Trump, what he's doing, he's targeting the so-called Mexicans. That's what he's doing. He's targeting the so-called Mexicans, and he's saying make America great again. Same thing Ronald Reagan is saying. Now you had you had uh, ISIS in Mississippi. This brother sent me a clip with ISIS in Mississippi, and you had uh, ISIS uh, taking down, uh, what was it, uh, the Northern Kingdom, okay? What I mean by the Northern Kingdom, it could have been the Puerto Rican, it could have been Issachar, it could have been Zebulon, it could have been uh, uh, Reuben, it could have been, you know what I'm saying, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, Asher, it could have been uh, uh, Manasseh, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by the Northern Kingdom. So Esau is targeting uh, the Northern Kingdom and deporting them, okay? So what Donald Trump is doing is catering to the, to the nationalists, okay? That's what he's doing. He's catering to the nationalists, and the nationalists see that, meaning these red Hebrew Edomites see that, and they're like, yeah, Donald Trump doing a good job. Get all of them out of here, okay? They taking our job, okay? But see, that's what Donald Trump is campaigning on. But my point for saying all this, when it's all said and done, it's designed to come after the Negro Latinos and Native Americans because they know the higher up the elites who run everything, name and name, the Rothschilds, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Warbirds, the Oppenheimer, those people who control Donald Trump, they know that we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and they targeted us, man. And they want, and they want uh, uh, this word and Israel awakening to stop because that's the biggest threat in this world. Because once Israel wake up fully to who they are, then that means Donald Trump and these red Hebrew Edomites and their nation as a people and these other nations that's on this earth, they going into slavery, man, okay? Which America gonna be completely destroyed. But I'm saying, in the future, they gonna, uh, America gonna be destroyed and Donald Trump gonna have to come back as a newborn baby and he gonna end up in slavery. Just like the Negro Latinos and Native Americans went through. It ain't, gonna, it, it ain't nothing but a, but a change in the place. So that's what's gonna take place. But they know that, man. The elites know that their time is short. Go ahead. It's 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Go ahead. For there shall be sedition among men. There shall be sedition among men. Go ahead. And invading one another. So. To have that sword in your hand, meaning a modern day gun, and you evading each other, that's going to prove right there that who got the power. Because if you ain't got that gun, and you ain't got the upper hand, you took. 
So the power is going to lie in the person who got that gun. And these, and these American citizens, they strapped to the T, man. And they ain't giving up their guns, man. You got two-thirds of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans trusting themselves and the gun just like Esau, man. Because they've been raising this society, man. Okay? So that's why Esau is using other Edomites and what ultimately is go back to the most high. It's causing these things to happen, man. These shootings to happen because martial law got to be implemented. And Esau being so sneaky and being so deceptive, what he do is pass laws to uh, prohibit you from having them on, but it's not going to stop the prophecy because everybody going to be fighting amongst each other, man. Okay? We're in a time of, uh, we're in a time of hate and we're in a time of war, man. Contrary to popular belief, man. The people that's not awake to what's going on, they're in the spirit of love and they're going to get caught out there and be put to death, man. That's just what it's going to be, man. They're going to be trying to stop certain things and get themselves put to death because they're in the spirit of love, man. When there ain't no love in America, man. Contrary to popular belief, man. The only love, let me, let me rephrase that. The only love in America is the brothers out here teaching uh, the, the King James Bible and telling you who you are according to the Bible, you Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's the only love you're going to get, man. That's it. Bottom line, man. Because the rest of this world, man, is against you, man. All, everything is stacked against you, man. To, to, to bury you, man. To make sure you don't wake up to who you are, man. And make sure you don't know your power is your how about Shemel was shot. And trust, and they want you to continue to trust in their lives and trust in Esau and trust in the gun and trust in your own heart, man. Your own ways, man. And don't believe in these scriptures, man. Which the scriptures is accurate, man. Go ahead, bro. I was gonna say real quick, uh, a lot of these militia groups, they're uh, uh, they're training, they're, they're getting ready because they know a civil war is coming. They so, know it. Yeah, they know it. They, they know something's coming. They know it, man. So it's it's uh, it's it's in their mind. And then you got then you got these uh these militia men, these Edomites that's in the militia, they they uh were former police officers, former military, so they know the insides of the government and how stuff works, man. Yeah, and they, they see this place is uh, 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 falling apart, man. And they don't trust the government either. And they don't trust it, man, because they've been on the inside and they know how, how it, the operations of it. Yeah, so they yeah, like, nah, man, yeah. we got to get ready because these folks, these, the, the government finna come down on them. And they start, a lot of them uh, uh, militia groups are basically have gone rogue from the system. In other words, they used to be police officers, they used to be in a, a government official, they used to be in the military. They basically have gone rogue because they have they got their training and they teaching others amongst them militias, they teaching others that haven't been in that, they teaching others how uh how these guns and how how the system and how things are, are operating and how it's corrupt. So even if they're using social media to gather to gather people, that's another reason for uh, these elites to crack down on the internet. But like I said, when it all said and done, it's to stop the truth, the meaning the King James Bible from coming out and being taught, man. That's what it's designed to do, man. And whether you believe it or not, Esau is going to cut off the internet, man, to where what I mean by that is Esau's gonna cut off the internet to where you're not gonna be able to find this word on the internet no more, man. And I pray for it, man. I pray, I pray for Esau to cut off the internet, man, because of Amos 8 11, man. It's prophecy, man. I pray for it, man. And coming to find out that the that Yahweh Shemel was shot is showing signs that he getting ready to do it, man. Feel that prophecy pursuing the Amos 8 and 11. Because when you watch brother's videos, brothers are telling you uh, all of a sudden they getting strikes within 24 hours on their main page. So you know what that means? All that information and all that work that they put in for Jake to see is going to be deleted. And Jake going to try to go on there and find answers and go on there and try, hey man, uh, what's this breakdown and, and try to get understanding of the scriptures and Matthew 25 gonna kick in, the 10 virgins, man. Five were wise and five were foolish, man. 
okay? That's what's gonna happen, man. And these Jays gonna be scrambling, man, to find out to get answers, man, okay? Because a lot of you Jakes out there, man, you a lot of you are actors, man, and y'all watching our shot knows it, man. And you gonna get caught out there, man, because you truly don't believe, man. You don't have discipline, and ultimately, you don't have faith in y'all watching our shot. So therefore, you gonna get caught out there, man, because you've been uh, not uh, paying attention, taking note, and applying these scriptures like you're supposed to, man. You think this thing is a joke, man. But when the Mofi bring the hammer down on you, then you gonna realize, hey, I messed up and it's too late, man. And that's when he's gonna know it's, it's serious. You know, Jake's gonna know it's serious. He's gonna come out here. We're not gonna be out here anymore. Yeah, we're not gonna be out here anymore. Okay. You know. And then you gonna have guys. You gonna have guys that that's on the web that know they Israelite. That's on the web. They come out here and teach, and they not gonna come out there. And come outside. Come out on the highways and byways and teach no more once the internet is no longer allowing you to put up videos, man, because a lot of these guys, what they do is put up videos so people can uh, 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 glorify them instead of the word of the Yahweh Shem Shah. Instead of, instead of glorifying the Yahweh Shem and the men being the vessel, people will, will glorify them. And once they can't get that, hey, man, good video, man. Uh, uh, get all them thumbs up and get all them views, then guess what's gonna happen? Man, I don't need to go out there no more. Ain't nobody gonna see it. See? A lot of that's gonna take place, man. A lot of that's gonna take place too, man. Once this, once this, uh, once the how about you shot called the family of the word, you're showing in Amos 8 and 11, you gonna have guys that was, that was putting up tons of videos, man. I mean, putting up videos back to back to back. Tons of them, man. And when they get when they get taken down, they ain't gonna even be on the streets no more, man. Yep, they just gonna go back in and say, look, shit, it's over with. I ain't gotta teach no more. Go ahead, bro.